We believe that every, every testing program needs to be based clearly and, and totally around medical necessity. And that, that medical necessity needs to be driven by disease state. So you wouldn't do the same. Maybe your intake panel is the same across the board, regardless of its drugs or alcohol. But as you, as you continue to test that patient while they're in your care, it has to be individualized, the testing. You can't just do the same panel. Because if your lab gets audited, how are you going to prove medical necessity? And it's not just a, a lab report doesn't prove medical necessity. You have to have in the patient files, in the patient records, you need to have documentation to prove this is why we did the drug test. Um, drug testing compared to the rest of the lab world is very unique. When you're in oncology or you're in internal medicine, the testing is diagnostic, it's prognostic, or it's predictive. So it tells you what it is, how to treat it, and how that treatment is going to work. Urine toxicology does none of that. It's a data point with a CPT code. So what does it tell you after intake? It tells you are they doing drugs or not. It's not diagnostic, and it's not prognostic, and it's not predictive. So in all of those other modalities, there's no money in it. There, there's no, there is no gold rush in oncology. You, you don't do bone marrow so you can make a bunch of money. That, that doesn't even make any sense. So this, this whole thing got corrupted. Um, and, and I'm not sure if, if the lab went to the treatment center and said, hey, by the way, if you send me all your urines, I'll do this. Or if the treatment center said, we have a lot of urines, if you give me 50%, I'll do this. Chicken or the egg? I, I really don't know. I wasn't part of it then, but I believe, I really do believe this, that that gold rush is coming to an end. We saw the Palm Beach Post yesterday. A guy got arrested. He billed $58 million for urine drug testing, and he got reimbursed $18 million. Now, the problem is, of that $18 million, he's going to have to pay about $9 million of it back. If there's a program where you give me 18 and I give you back nine, sign me up today. And that's a problem. Once people start to go to jail for that, then that changes everything.